How are you? Oh, thank you. This so is retired you. civil servant Cecilia. She wants a gentleman to brighten up her twilight years. Are there any men at dancing? Well, one's younger than me and very handsome. <laughs> oh, he took me home from the dance that was a bit late and I went to make the cup of tea and when I come out, he'd only put my dimmer switch down. <laughs> I said, what have you done to my dimmer switch? And then he sort of started getting fresh, so that was it. That was the only time he came to my place. Hello. Hello. We've got a lovely menu. Are you feeling very hungry? No. No? Do you have a favourite, just so I can give the chef a little heads up? No. OK. I'm fed up with my own company now, and I'm looking for companionship. Someone to keep the bed warm. <laughs> Thank you. It's OK. I think I'm losing it. Oh, yeah. I was trying to kind of charm. Nothing. You have to try a bit harder. Hello, how nice to meet you. Waltzing his way to Cecilia is record breaker Raymond. How are you? Good afternoon. At 90, Raymond's the oldest dater ever to request a match at the First Dates restaurant. Do you mind me asking, how old are you? I'll be 91 Thank next you. birthday. I'm looking for someone who can get me up, wake me up, get me moving. Got to go places. Hello. Hello. I'm pleased how to meet you. How do you do? <laughs> Not someone who would be content to sit and watch television all day. And what is your name? Cecilia. Yours is? Raymond. I don't think there is any difference in dating at 90 because the feelings are still there. What do you have to offer a lady? You're getting very personal, but I can offer her a warm bed. I don't drink beers or wines or spirits. I don't drink either. Do you smoke? Yeah. I gave it up when I was about 40. A couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to excuse me laughing all the time. I don't mind. I've got a habit. They call me the giggler. I'd prefer you to laugh than to cry. <laughs> <laughs>